All right, you guys, so what's up? Sorry about the bad lighting. Uh, it's currently uh, 816 right now, but what's up? So we're gonna do uh, one of these verses on YouTube. So today it's gonna be on the Blessed app. This is Isaiah 35, four, this is coming out of the KJV. Say to them that are of a fearful heart, be strong, fear not, behold, your God will come with vengeance. Even God with a recompense, he will come and save you. This comes with an inspiration, and this is what it is. Have you been cheated, lied to, or unfairly treated? Have you been in a situation where you don't know what to do? Certain life situations can leave us with feelings of discouragement and dampen our hopes for the future, thus making life unbearable and not worth living. We tend to get tired of living with little or no strength to move on. People in such situations believe that the universe is working against them. Especially if they have tried everything within their power and nothing seems to be working in their favor. They resign themselves to fate and tend to slide into depression. They are burdened, but the weight of their problems and their minds are so distorted that they cannot seem to figure a way out. That's what a lot of people is going through right now. They're unfairly treated in life situations. They get cheated on, they get lied to, and you know, a whole bunch of things. And they go down that rabbit hole of depression, anxiety, you know, stress. And that's what this whole world is full of negative people. Cups that you can't fill because they got holes in them. But it keeps on going. There is good news for people in this category. God is right there in that situation with you, making way for their deliverance. Today's verse is an assurance and a word of exhortation to people who feel that nothing good can come out of their lives. God is saying that you cannot afford to give up. He will avenge every injustice you have suffered and right every wrong done to you. You just have to be strong and courageous because God will come and save you. And here's a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for coming to my aid whenever I need it. Thank you for being there for me in times of trouble. Let me not be swept off my feet by the problems that have threatened to overwhelm me. Save my soul from destruction and strengthen my heart, Lord. Just like David, I put my trust in your right hand of deliverance. I will not be afraid of what the future holds or lose courage. I refuse to give up or lose hope because you are working things out for my good. You will redress every injustice that I have suffered and save me from all hurt. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. And that's the thing, y'all. You guys don't think that you know you are getting justice, but you getting out of that situ certain situation, you're getting justice. Because those coworkers, family, friends, spouses, or whatever, they lost something great. They lost someone that was good hearted and everything. They lost, you know, that that person that would have done anything. So what are you going through? In what type of situation you feel like you've just been, you know, tossed aside or whatever like that? Don't believe that. You know, God saves his his children. He when God removes things out of your life, it's for a reason. He's seen he's seen things that you didn't see. He's heard conversations that you did not hear. Okay? He has seen the future of what would happen if you would have stayed in that situation. You would have been destroyed. You would have been basically taken out of this world. This is what's wrong with society nowadays. People want to take, 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 and not give, give, give. Because why? People are hurt. People have cups that are broken, people cracked. They have holes in them. And I don't care who you are. If you have the most energetic personality, the best you know, just overall person in general. You cannot fill a cup that has multiple holes on it. You will always get the bare minimum. You will always get nothing out of it. Okay? So, when things are removed out of your life, when you ask God to help you in certain situations, He, he will do it. Hence why you're not in that workspace anymore. Look at this, you're not with that friend group anymore. You're not with that particular person anymore. Why? Because he saved you from a long road of destruction and misery, stress, 
and just ultimate destruction. So just remember that. So whatever you're going through right now, you're going to get through it. You will make it. You will be forced through chaos. That's why I made my, my logo. That phoenix. That phoenix is the new you. From all that trauma, all that stress, all that crap that you had to go through, that's you. You are the phoenix. You're that mythical creature that you have been reborn, renewed, revived, restored to that new version of yourself because God protected you. Whatever you're going through or whatever you've been through, you will heal. You will become better, stronger, more loved in this life. Because you will know your values, your worth, your boundaries, things you will not stand for and you will not stand for bare minimum in this life anymore. God will give you that sense of peace and unconditional love and joy and happiness. You will find it. It takes time, but you will find it. When you get out of that toxic thing, you will, you will grow and you will be so much better off. You will be so much happier, I'm telling you. I am telling you right now. You will be so much happier. So don't give up. Don't give up. Keep forging on. Forge through that. You can take anything down. You can, you can remove anything out of your life if you have God with you. You will walk that valley. You will get through it. You will move mountains. You will overcome every single obstacle there is. Look back at your life right now. Look at all the situations that you didn't think you would, uh, were going to get out of. But now you're here and you're out of those situations. You were bad in that place, but now you're a lot better off now. Remember that. Remember he gave you knowledge. He gave you experience. He gave you more information on what you are seeking now, what you actually want in this life. Just ultimately, you will have justice for anything that has been ha happened to you, but it's gonna be from God. That is God's place, and He will do what needs to be done for justice. So just focus on yourself, Learn who you really are. Become that better version of yourself. Grow into that, that pinnacle self of you in this life. By doing that, you got to love yourself. you got to learn your values, your worth, your boundaries, and things that you will not stand for anymore in this life. You know what you deserve in this life. So keep forging on every single day. Live day by day. Forget the past. The past is nothing. It's the, it's the dirt beneath your shoe now. Okay? You're forging on. You're looking at the front windshield. Alright? Stay focused on yourself. Stay focused on the front windshield. You got this. Peace out.